Hello there, Aries. Welcome. Okay, we can get right into your reading. So we're going to check in to see what's going on with you or what's going on in your current situation. Let's see what we have here. We have here runes. Someone feels like something has ended. Someone's runes. Something, um, yeah, something had to end. Painful ending here. So let's see. Let's clarify this. We have here in the Ten of Pentacles. So maybe this was a commitment or this could have been, oh my God, this could have been family legacy. Something came in here that had to end or um, something could have ended for something new to begin too. Usually when there's an ending, there's a new beginning. Okay. So let's see what's crossing you. Oh, we have the therapist, the Queen of Cups. Someone could be feeling like they have to go through therapy. They need to speak to someone. So there, or there's someone around you that you do talk to, or you could be this energy. Someone very loving, nurturing, someone understanding, someone that is someone you can reach out to, can talk to. Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Let me get a charm on that Queen of Cups. Ah, see, this. The glasses came out again. Okay, with the Queen of Cups, someone sees things. Or maybe they can see something that you can't see. Or maybe they understand something. There might be something coming to light. Something that is um, now being seen that wasn't seen before. Someone uncovering something. Someone uncovering the truth, maybe. Let's see here. We have here the Seven of Swords. There's messages, maybe. This is a messenger going through this the streets of New York, you know, delivering messages. There might be some messages you want to hear, maybe some messages you don't. There might be something being revealed here or something that someone's trying to hide coming out here. Okay, let me get the um, the words on this Queen of Cups. We have thinking. The end. Never. Okay, so... There's something that ended here. Maybe someone's thinking they never thought that that would happen because we do have the Ten of Swords as first card. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles. There might have been someone that was really committed to something or really thought this commitment was going to last and they're surprised that it ended for whatever reason and maybe they had to go to therapy. Okay, let's see what else we have for you guys. Let's look into the future. Then this will be um, from now into the next six months future. We have here the Four of Swords. There might be a truce going on with this connection. Maybe it ended, but there might be someone, okay, let's let's have a truce. Let's talk about it. Let's get down to the bottom. Let's look how we have a, a like a the bullseye in the middle. And then we have all these swords pointing to that bullseye. So it's almost seeing like something has to be um you now looked at again. But the four of swords is usually healing too. So trying to heal a situation. I do think someone might be going to therapy to try to help heal from a, a painful ending here. Could be a loss of some sort that just was unexpected. Okay, let's see. We have here. Okay, we have here the five of swords, but it's in reverse. So four of swords is clarified by the five of swords. But before, if this was upright, this would be that there's all these different um, signs and, and, you know, all this stuff going on confusion chaos but there's all different ways to go not knowing what to, way to go but i think after you have this healing you will know which way to go because this is in reverse so this there is coming in some kind of solution some kind of understanding that you didn't have before you will come to that within the next six months now what's going on with the past okay so we have yeah look at this we have someone now, with the past energy here, this is, um, this is for, um, influence and feelings that no longer serve you. Now, this is feeling like, okay, the hurt, the pain, you're, you're trying to work through that. You're not going to be putting any more attention to this. This could have been a third party that interfered in your life somehow. So, let's see what we have here. We have the Page of Wands. This could have been someone was hurtful with a message here. Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They might have got some kind of information, some kind of news. Um, here we have the mail carrier. 
delivering a package, delivering news, delivering some kind of information that actually was very hurtful in the past. Okay. It's weird how we have the Three of Swords here, and then right in here, up here, we have the Three of Swords. So there's something about this, some kind of message that was hurtful. Okay, we have here a dog with a bone. Okay, so, so maybe someone in the past did not want to let this go, whatever happened here. It's like there was some kind of message, something being delivered, and someone saying, well, now now that you delivered it, I'm not going to let go of this. I, I'm hurt by what you said is what I feel here. And someone saying, I can't let it go. Okay, so now let's get the words on this page of wands. Important, serious, apart. Okay, so something important happened. Something serious since you guys been apart. Okay, so now let's look at the past. And this is lifelong goals and dreams. What happened in the past? What were, were your lifelong goals and dreams that might have changed now, shifted? We have here, okay, there was some kind of victory. This is someone probably winning the marathon. You know, someone having a victory. Someone making the finish line. Someone um, did experience a success here. Okay. And we have here the Emperor. So you could be dealing with, if this is your sign, Aries, Emperor. So maybe you did come into something here where you were recognized. You did have a victory. But maybe once you've received that victory, someone hurt you somehow. Someone caused some pain. It might have been a third party. Um, maybe jealous of your victory. Here we have, look at this Emperor. This Emperor is playing chess, but is also waiting for the opponents to make a move. And meanwhile, it's just... Looking through this paper. So it's like it almost feels like you won whatever this was in the past. But it was like hardly any effort put out for you. And because of that, maybe someone attacked you. Maybe someone accused you of something. Or somehow they were hurtful. Okay. Now what's coming in in the very near future for you, Aries? Let's see. What's coming in the very near future? We have here the Prince of Cups, the filmmaker. This is someone trying to get a picture of something, trying to put something together, trying to develop something maybe, it's trying to produce something, trying to create something. Um, it could be someone trying to create something with you. This could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Okay, let's get a charm on that. We have the key. So there's some kind of knowledge, something coming in about the key. Um, information. You know, the key can open a door. The key could close a door. So this could be, you know, allowing you access to something that you maybe didn't have access to before. Or it could also be closing something off. This could be someone having the key to your heart. Okay, let me get a clarifier here. Ooh, we have the Knight of Pentacles now. Okay, so with the Knight of Pentacles, this looks like someone delivering food, maybe. Someone delivering some kind of information, delivering food. Delivering almost feels like when this person comes in, this this Prince of Cups, you it might be whatever they're coming in is bringing you some kind of nourishment, bringing you some kind of um joy. The Knight of Pentacles moves very slow. Maybe you have two people, new two new people coming towards you. One is a, a, a water sign. Is Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, and one could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You might have two people coming towards you. Let me get a charm on this one. Knight of Pentacles. We have here. Yeah, this person wants. Um, they want, they're serious here. They want long term. They want stability. And of course, the Knight of Pentacles is the most stable of all the Knights. Okay. So, now let's get the word on the Prince of Cups, which would be like the Knight of Cups. So, we have obsessed, ooh, cheater, 
finish. Okay. So maybe this person's obsessed with you and they were a cheater, but they're saying they're finished. Or maybe that's where an ending came in because someone cheated and you finished it. You're like, that's it. I'm done. But this is some energy that's coming in very soon. So let's see. Near future. And we have mystery after instigate. Ooh. So this Knight of Pentacles might be bringing you in some kind of information or instigating something after a mystery. So you might know what that means. Okay. Let's see here. Let's go on to who you are. Let's see who you are. Oh, virtue. We have the Three of Wands. This is you, like, having a lot of virtue here. This is you. I mean, we have a fire truck here. Passion, desire. Maybe you're waiting for something. Okay, let's see. Okay, we have here the Seven of Cups. Okay. So, who you are is someone that has many options. And it's probably way, maybe taking their time in order to make your decision here. Here we have the Seven of Cups. And here's one of these um, food carts. And look at all the choices. Don't know which to pick. Okay. So that's you. That's who you are. So let's see how you see and feel about yourself. Let's get into that. How you see and feel about yourself. Interference. Are you interfering in your own life here? Are you are you um, self sabotaging yourself? Or do you see yourself as a self sabotager? Wow, there's some kind of conflict here. Interference. Okay, let's see what else we get on this. Five is changes though. We have here the eight of wands. Okay, so maybe you see yourself moving away from this interference. <clears throat> Maybe you see yourself capable of getting yourself out of something. If you're involved in something that is interfering your life, you're moving on from it. Uh, there, or there could be something at a distance, some kind of travel. But the Eight of Wands is something taken off. So maybe you're taking interference and the eight of wands. I, I feel like you could, you might be seeing yourself, okay, listen, I could achieve a lot more, but I stop myself. I interfere in my own, um, my own happiness. And that, you know, that's not going to be for everyone, but someone is probably saying, hey, listen, I realize I do this. I get scared, you know, and maybe that's what's happening. Maybe because you have options choices you get confused and you want to do things but you're afraid of making the wrong choice that could happen okay now let's see about your hopes or fears now remember this is a general reading just take the parts that might resonate with you what about your hopes or fears okay ah so this is debauchery here we have the seven of cups so what's going on here? Are you overindulging? Are you letting yourself, you know, I almost feel like someone's trying to not face something and they are, they're, they're, um, confusing themselves. Maybe someone's, um, partying too much and that is what's sabotaging you. That's what's interfering with whatever you're trying to do here. Let's see, we have the temperance. Look at this. So here we have a bartender. Here we have the different decks here, right? We have cocktails. Look at the look at the cocktails. These are two different decks. It's almost like it's the same cocktail, isn't it? I mean, the glass is a little different. But look color. So this is a bartender. So maybe someone needs to, um, you know, balance out. You know, not not overindulge, because the overindulging whoever's doing this is might be causing this interference to where they could be. So this. It says to balance things out. Do things in moderation. Okay. 
And maybe someone's fearing that, that they can't do that. Okay, so now let's see. <clears throat> For the final answer or the possible outcome. And this is Sagittarius energy here. So. We have here. Okay, we have the works. This is like, you might be working on something new here. Planning something. Putting something together. You know, there's something that. It might be big, too. Look how big that building is. So you might be planning something. We have here the hangman. Okay, so the hangman is Pisces energy. It's, um... Mean, needing to wait on something, maybe. But gaining a better perspective because of it. So, oops. Oops. Come out. I thought it was going to pop out. Okay, let's see. We have here the Ace of Swords. Look at this. Being in your truth, speaking your truth. That's what's going to have to come out here. This is going to be owning up to what you know, what you see, what you feel. Okay, and then what you don't see coming is the Hermit. Virgo energy. Maybe um, sometimes the Hermit. The Hermit is the teacher, the healer, the student. But also the Hermit goes within, searches for answers goes on a quest of self-discovery. Maybe you need to really discover yourself or take time to be alone, be by yourself. Figure things out. Okay, now let's clarify. With this Three of Pentacles, that's what we get for that. We have here, okay, so we have the Four Swords. There's a healing taking place here. There is, um, There might be like four floors there. You know, it's really interesting how these cards, they they actually seem like they're going together as they're coming out here. Look how we have this, oh, like high rise here or something. This building's tall. Let's say we, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, maybe twelve floors. Okay. And then we have here showing the fire escapes. You know, this is maybe... Maybe getting together with people in your block here or in your neighborhood and maybe healing something here, working on something together. I mean, here they are, here they we're showing the fire escape, but we're also showing people inside their house, you know, doing whatever they're doing there, you know. And maybe you're actually going to get together with others and heal something. There's something about these floors that is standing out. I mean, why are we getting the cards are so so this clarifies this. Interesting. So there's something to that. I almost feel like I want to say to someone, if you are in this type of a building, apartment building or something, hey, maybe go outside and say hi to your neighbor. <laughs> Yell, hey neighbor down there, or hey neighbor up there. <laughs> I don't know, maybe that won't be so good, but who knows. There's something about some kind of healing something or working together with others. That's coming in for you guys. Okay, now, um, as far as this hangman, Pisces energy. Okay, we have the Seven of Wands. So here we have the Seven of Wands, and usually the Seven of Wands is fighting for something or, you know, here we have the sanitation department. Here they're coming to pick up the, the garbage, right? So there's something about waiting for something, to fight for something, maybe wondering what you should do about this. What are you throwing out? What are you keeping? Okay, now, the Ace of Swords. What's going on with the Ace of Swords? Ooh, whatever you're doing, it's going to be a surprise, surprise. We have the tower. Okay, so with the tower here, that means you might be shocking people by speaking your truth. Maybe you're not putting up with their garbage. You know, with the garbage here. <laughs> you're not putting up with the garbage. I didn't even realize that until after it came out of my mouth to tell you the truth. <laughs> but maybe that's it. Maybe you're saying, you know what, maybe this is like, you know, I'm not taking that. Look at this sanitation. Maybe these people are actually leaving that behind. And we're not taking that. That does not belong in the regular garbage. That 
is supposed to be like recycle or that is supposed to maybe something like that is supposed to be um, taken to being disposed of someplace else so we're not taking what you're trying to gift out here so you might be surprising people and not taking their stuff not taking their garbage and speaking your truth okay let's see what we don't see here is look at this five of cups okay so the hermit going within healing um maybe taking time to yourself or you know getting away here but now we have here also you don't see is five of cups Someone might be having a lot of regret and remorse for something that was spilled here. These look like probably like Colt 45 bottles or something. Three bottles are broken. Two are whole. But this person's still walking away. Why are they walking away? They still don't want that. They're saying, you know what? Maybe that's not what I really wanted. Maybe there's a reason why these broke. Maybe I wasn't supposed to drink that. And then maybe I shouldn't take those either. Five is change. So there's definitely some change coming in. Okay, so now let's see what we get as far as the signs. So let's see what signs to deal with. This could placement, your chart, placement, other people's charts, past, present, and future. So let's see what signs we have here for Aries. We have Capricorn, Cancer, Sagittarius. Scorpio, Scorpio, and Gemini. Okay, so this could be placement, your chart, pla placement, other people's charts, past, present, and future. We have Capricorn, Cancer, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Scorpio, and Gemini. Okay, so now let's do the letters. We're going to do 11 letters for initials, first name, last name. If you get both someone's first and last initial, and they have a middle name, and you know that middle name, you get that initial also all the better. Past, present, and future, also your own initials. Let's see. We have a D, O, O, P. We have dupe. <laughs> and we have K, Z, W, G, K, E, M. Okay, so letters we have here today are D O O P K Z W G K E M. All right, now let's do the names. Let's get 11 or more names for you guys. What names want to come out? Okay, guys, we have Paul. Cat, K A T. Rochi Rochi R O C H I E Luinel L O U I N E L Jordan J O R D E N Let's see we have Hayden H A Y D E N Um Sandra S yeah S A N D R A Eric Erica E R I K A I don't know why I'm spelling that one Riza R I Z A Ryan, okay, so that's 10. Let's see what else we have here. Then we have Sika Sika, S I K A, and Mandy for Quan, F U R Q A N, Kizzy, K I Z Z Y, and Jerry. Okay, 15 names. Wow. Okay, so those are names. Now remember, guys, these are general readings, they're not personal readings. Please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. I love to read your comments. If it does not resonate, check out your other placements. Your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus sign. Something might resonate with you more in your other placements. And I just want to thank you all for all your love and support. I really do appreciate you guys. I love you so much. I appreciate all your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your comments, your super thanks. I appreciate it all, and I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.